George Carlin said think of how stupid the average person is and realize half of them are stupider than that. What real life example have you seen that validates this view? Customers arguing that their tattoo is backwards, while their artist tries to explain that no, your tattoo is fine, it just looks backwards, because that's how mirrors work. I'm a physician. I doctor specifically. I will tell you that the longer I work, now 15 years, my standard for the average person continues to decline. Case in point, thanks to the awful information filtering out there, I had a patient just last week who read that vitamin D helps you resist a coronavirus infection. Well, he had also read that you can get more vitamin D by getting more sun. So he wanted to collect as much light as possible with his eyes. As a result, he stared at the sun for a solid 60 seconds and burned holes directly into his retinas permanently reducing his vision with no chance at future improvement. About half the calls I take on a daily basis. People call 9 double one to ask whether Walmart is open. To report that they didn't get enough mayo on their burger. To complain that cleanup at a fatality wreck is taking too long. All sorts of silly, out of touch shit. Granted, there is probably some level of mental illness and or substance abuse present in those calls. But still. I used to work for a chatbot app. Our app would text our users every morning with a greeting in a different language. I. E. Hala. Bonjour etc. One day we got blown up by a user saying their account was hacked. She said, my name is Kim Smith, not Kim Kanajigwa. Someone's hacked my account when we explained. That our service has been clearly saying hello to her in other languages every day, and that Kanichiwa is hello in Japanese and her account was fine. She went on a racist rant, and said Disney was behind the destruction of America. Yep. At the start of working from home due to COVID, I had a few users submit tickets for connectivity issues. These tickets got through to lines of support before landing in my queue. Turns out that the corporate Wi-Fi doesn't follow you home and you need home internet in order to connect to the VPN. Friend of mine showered in cold water for a year cause he never thought of turning the other tap to see what it would do. I used to manage a retail store that sold teen clothing, so as expected, I primarily had teens working for me. One employee came to the back room while I was on break and asked what I was eating. Somehow the topic turned to how I should brought chicken for lunch because she wanted chicken. I told her I was vegetarian and therefore don't eat meat. She tells me chicken is not meat. It's poultry and vegetarians can eat poultry. She said at the grocery store the aisles list meat and poultry separately so they're obviously different. We argued for a couple of minutes before I finally told her to go back to the sales floor. She didn't last at the job long but damn. Getting a misdialed call from a random person who gets mad at you because you're not the one he slash she was looking for happens with me several times a year. You know the reason you bury a rattlesnake after you kill it is because bees will eat it, then bees can sting people with rattlesnake venom guy I heard constantly trying to pick up women on public transit. I worked in retail for a few years, and it taught me that many people are either incapable or unwilling to read. I have had people walk up to me to ask me how much something is, only for the price tag to be featured prominently on the item. It's $9.99, ma'am. How did you know? It says so on the price tag, ma'am. I once owned a smart car and some stranger approached me at a gas station about why I didn't have a slow vehicle sign in the back of it. Since all moped cars must have that. I tried explaining that it was a real car, just a bit smaller, but he didn't take it. According to him, I was driving illegally and he was surprised the police hadn't stopped me yet on the highway. I worked with a lady who was remarking on how a friend of hers had lost a bunch of weight. She pondered, I wonder how many diet cokes she had to drink to do that. I just had a customer yell at me for putting their eggs in a separate bag, saying they don't want all those bags and the paper ones always rip. Before putting it in the bag and throwing a pound of flour on top. 
It was somewhat satisfying seeing their face as we heard the cracks until I realized I'm the one who needed to clean it up. Oh also she complained that we hadn't warned her about the fragility of eggs. Old boss had a morning routine of walking around the office with a bucket. He was watering all of the plastic flowers. I teach 6th grade. One time a parent came to me after trying to help their child with math homework and asked, what number is x worth? It feels like it changes with every problem. I worked at a bank. Mobile depositing had just became a thing. We received a picture of someone's cash for deposit. Yay. A woman I used to work with who insisted that any animal could reproduce with any other animal. She believed that sperm from any animal was the same and that DNA was irrelevant. She believed this because she once saw some sickly, possibly deformed puppies and decided that they must have been half dog and half rat. I had a bald man return a hairdryer because it burnt his head. A former coworker was talking about how she wanted to go back to school to get her master's degree because she only had a bachelorette degree and wanted more job opportunities. I said, do you mean a bachelor's degree? She insisted it was pronounced bachelorette when it was given to a woman. Then she led me back to her office and pointed at her diploma to the word baccalaureate and said, see, bachelorette. Every time I put on my glasses so I can see better while looking for my glasses. Was at a party and someone's shitty old truck got stuck in some mud so instead of sobering up and coming back the next day, he makes a Molotov cocktail with gas and throws it at the truck. The truck caught fire and was completely destroyed. The woman that called into a radio station to complain about the deer crossing signs on a highway saying that the deer will see the sign and consider this place a safe place to cross the road. Worked at a larger grocery chain whose deli used scales that would show you digitally the weight so 1 and 1 half pounds would show 1.50 pounds on the scale etc. The person I worked, female 35, had to ask me to come over and tell her how much she had sliced every time she assisted someone for over 4 months. She had passed the written and verbal test they give to verify that you should be able to do this. She didn't seem to have problems reading any other signs or numbers, so I don't think dyslexia played a part, but man it was so frustrating trying to do my job and hers. When I was in high school, we were reading a short story about what would have happened if the Japanese attacked us back with nuclear weapons after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A girl in my class raised her hand and said something along the lines of why does this matter? None of it is real anyway. The teacher had to ask her to clarify, but this girl thought WWII and the bombing of Japan were just from a movie and didn't actually happen. The best part is, the girl was half Japanese. There is a considerable overlap between the intelligence of the smartest bears and the dumbest tourists. Yasa my park ranger on why it's hard to design a bear proof garbage can. I'm an insurance claims adjuster. If you truly knew how many stupid drivers you're sharing the road with, you'd never drive again. Edit because I keep getting this question, I avoid driving whenever possible. I have a car, but I take the bus to slash from work. I never drive at night. I work in it. I once had a lady call me from home because she couldn't get connected to her VPN. I asked her if she was connected to her home wireless network. She replied saying that she did not have home wireless. I then asked how she was connecting to the internet. Her reply was, I'm using the cell tower. I can see it from my house. While this is technically possible with the hotspot or cellular card in your PC, this isn't what she meant. She thought she could get internet service via Wi-Fi from the cell tower. When farms have trouble producing their crops, and you ask some dipshit if that worries them, I don't get my food from a farm, I get it from Walmart. One of my nieces had a cold as a toddler, and was breathing through her mouth. My ex Bill flipped out, because he didn't want her to get carbon monoxide poisoning from breathing through her mouth instead of her nose, the normal way. On 9 over 11 the general manager called his daughter who was attending ASA to wake her up and make sure she saw what was going on. The customer service manager said, it won't be on her TV yet, Arizona is 2 hours behind us. 
the Georgia senator, that wanted to prevent sending troops to an island because he was worried it would capsize. I worked at Little Caesars and we were proofing the dough for pizza. My boss said, at 7pm, that the dough needed to rise for 12 hours and took out her calculator to do the math. So I said um that's gonna be 7am. Then she said the dough will expire in 48 hours and started doing the math again. I told her it would expire 2 days from now and she said, that's kinda weird how that works out huh. I quit shortly after that. I work at a restaurant. We were low on tomatoes for our tomato soup, so one person grabbed potatoes to see if we could use those instead. A girl in one of my college classes argued that heart transplants shouldn't be allowed because that's where the feelings are and the person receiving the heart wouldn't be the same person anymore. Infant Trimen was told to trim the hedges. So he lifted the lawn mower. His buddy started it. As a brand new medic, I spent about 6 hours pulling finger meat from the hedges. I had a friend once who truly believed that magicians like Chris Angel and David Blaine had some kind of magical power or telekinesis, something along those lines. While watching one of those magicians on TV performing on the street he argued. How could this be fake? Look at all those people. Can't fake all that. Has to be some kind of power or magic. I would then have to ask, do you realize that movies are fake? They fake entire universes, planets, cities, war, etc. He didn't get what I was getting at. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to consider the idea to maybe think about potentially subscribing. Peace.